Do you want to know easy and beginner friendly ways where you can make money online simply writing? Well, in this video, I put together a list of the seven best beginner friendly ways that you can make money online writing. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about the opportunity, about how much money you can make and how to get started. And if you stay until the end of this video, I'm going to show you the number one recommended way to make money online without a huge following on social media, a large mailing list, or even using paid ads. Hello, my name is Austin Godbolt with AustinGodbolt.com. I create content to help you make money online. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Writing is one of the best ways that you can make money online. It's There's a lot of opportunities, there's a lot of ways to get started, and you don't have to be some expert guru in writing to make money online. Now, what the best part about writing is that the more you write, the better you'll get at it and the more money that you can make. And so we're going to talk about the seven different opportunities that you can start today or this weekend and start seeing a return on your writing investment. So number one is to use websites like Text Broker and iWriter. Now, these are writing services where uh, content or Internet marketers will come to these websites and they'll buy writing service from the, the the site. And what they'll do is a little bit of arbitrage, basically, is they'll hire someone like you to write the content based on keywords and suggestions and in a format and then you can get paid once you're done now the great thing about this opportunity is that you'll get paid as soon as you're done okay um, it's not one of those things where you have to write a bunch and then maybe you'll make money maybe you won't make money you'll make money from the very beginning as soon as you click submit and people accept your article whether it's a blog post or maybe like a sales page something like that you'll get paid now the only drawback with using the service as you can see on my screen i've got both text broker and iWriter up is you'll actually start off relatively low and the more reviews the more quality ratings that you'll receive as you can see here on text broker the more money you can make so if we look at this it says average pay of a four-star text broker um, you can see 1.6 cents for a four quality rating and the cool thing is you can use this you can use this sliding scale easy for me to say to get an idea about how much you can make so let's say you start off as a three star and you wrote 160 words you can see you'd make a dollar 76 um, but if you wrote maybe like a 4,000 word mini ebook, that's 50 bucks. But the more you write, the better you're going to get at it. The more feedback you can make $253 with that same 4,600 word ebook, basically, uh, and a five star writing. And so the way that these websites work is they're going to give you a topic. The, um, the content marketer, or the person that's looking for the service is maybe going to give you an outline, some keywords to hit, maybe even an, an outline. I think I said outline twice, but uh, he's going to give you, she's going to give you, that person's going to give you some sort of direction. You write towards that direction. You're going to be responsible for doing a little bit of research and making sure, sure things sound coherent and you'll get paid. So number one is actually with using a, a site like Text Broker or iWriter. With iWriter, you see you have to fill out a little bit of a form. Um, it's going to take time to get up to $100 per day, especially if you with if you start with the three-star um, review system. It's going to take a little bit of time, but just keep writing, and you'll eventually get there. Number two is actually with Quora. Now, I use Quora a little bit differently than most people. I use Quora to feed my funnels and feed my YouTube channel, and you can do the same thing. Now, Quora is a question and answer site that people from around the world go to to ask simple and basic questions. And what you can do is you can answer those questions. Um, there's a number of ways to do it. Just let me show you my stats real quick so you can see that this is actually something that I've done in the past. Now, the other cool thing with Quora is that you don't have to continuously be on the hamster wheel answering questions because you answer questions and it's evergreen. What that means is people are going to be asking the same questions again and again, and you'll see that you'll get traffic. Now, if you look at this, I have 85,000 views from answering questions. And I actually probably have an answer question on Quora in over a year. Okay, you can see 683 upvotes, 64 comments, 17 shares, which is pretty cool. And the way that I use Quora is I'll answer the question and then I'll put in a link to my landing page or my YouTube channel to build my landing to build my internet marketing business and and what I'll do eventually is once they get added to my mailing list I may sell them a different product or service you can do the same thing with a, a product that you're selling or creating which we'll talk about in just a moment or you can even 
send them over to your YouTube channel to help grow your YouTube channel. Now, it's really easy to get up and running with Quora. You simply come up here and type in a question. Uh, for example, we'll type in something like web hosting. And actually, I made my first $130 with Quora simply doing this method. Now, what I did here and what you should not do is I came over to Quora and I typed in, I typed in Bluehost, Bluehost like this. And then I looked for search. And then what I did next is I actually came over to questions and I filtered questions by the last day. And then I simply answered these questions and I put my affiliate link in the answers and people actually clicked on my affiliate link and I got paid, but I almost got banned. So you don't want to do that. You want to answer questions and either send people to your YouTube channel or a landing page or, or even your blog so that you can start building your other assets. But Quora can be a great way because people are asking basically the same questions over and over again. And you can use that as an opportunity to make money. In the very beginning, I recommend that you answer three, four or five questions per day. Stay within your niche because that's usually the easiest way to build authority and to start being seen. The other benefit of Quora is that answers questions and answers from Quora can actually show up in the search results on Google. Now I have separate videos showing you how to find those questions so that you can answer them and then actually appear in Google search results, which is insanely powerful. The next way speaking of Google search results is actually with starting a blog. Now a blog is basically written content on a given topic or niche. Okay. Now what I have here is AAA affiliate program. This is search results that show up in Google. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit, one, two, three, four, I'm actually the fourth result. And so when you start a blog, you can actually make money in a few different ways. One way is with uh, affiliate marketing. So recommending or selling other people's products and services. Another way is to sell your own digital products. For example, this affiliate marketing ebook or workbook is five dollars uh, done for you affiliate marketing you can sell other people's products you can sell your own products you can sell merchandise you can do coaching there's lots of opportunity and you're basically just using google search results to google bing yahoo duck duck go search results to rank what you need to do for when you start a blog is to identify what people want to know uh, keyword research write content that is engaging it doesn't have to be long i think this is about a 2000 word blog post in fact i actually hired somebody to write this for me but you can see here very simple and it ranks and i actually get leads and sales right from my blog and this is actually really easy you can write about a topic that you're interested in you don't have to be passionate about it you just have to like creating content uh, this actually isn't even my first blog this is probably my fifth or sixth blog that i started writing on after i started making money blogging after after blogging we have youtube script writer now youtube script writer is really is, is something that's growing almost exponentially um, there's a new phenomenon out there called youtube automation and basically that's where uh, someone uh, a channel owner will hire a group of people a team of people to run a youtube channel so that they make money through the youtube partner program and one of the things that they need for the youtube automation channel is a script writer now you can see here you can make beginning five dollars up to 30. now once you have experience and you get success being a youtube script writer you can actually command more money now the key to getting started with fiverr because it's really competitive you can see there's over 12 almost 1300 services available is to go up to buyer requests and buyer requests are special requests that are are made and you can go there now i recommend doing that because it's going to be way less competitive than trying to fight with 1300 people find the buyer request section apply to those different requests the buyer requests are a little bit cheaper you're not going to make as much but it's going to help you start building authority you're going to start getting reviews and you're going to start uh, being seen in the algorithm because you're going out and you're doing some of those other things that some of these guys aren't willing to do so buyer requests with a youtube script writer is going to be your ticket in and you don't have to be an expert you just have to go and do a little bit of research make sure it sounds coherent and you can get paid now the only drawback to using fiverr is uh, fiverr will take a cut um, I also believe PayPal will take a cut as well if you start getting these services. Now, after YouTube script writer, we have sales copy. Now with sales copy, you can make very, very good money. Sales copy basically is the text on the screen that gets the buyer to open up their wallet and give the creator or the seller of the product money. Now, 
in the very beginning, if you're going to use Fiverr, you're going to not make that much. $10, you can see here. But this person here who has 197 five-star reviews, he starts at $100. So if you want to make $100 per day or $100 per gig, you have to write. And again, the best way to get started is actually with the buyer request. Now you can see here with sales copy, 3,800 services available, much less competitive than the YouTube script writer, but it's actually a little bit more challenging. What I recommend that you do to become a good copywriter is to read a lot of copy and look at the different commonalities, a lot of consistencies between good copy and bad copy. So you're going to have to learn a little bit of marketing. You're going to have to understand what people really want to know and what gets them to open their wallet and buy. So sales copy can be a great way and you don't have to just use Fiverr. You can use Upwork, people per hour. There's tons of freelancing sites out there, but a lot of people are familiar with Fiverr. So I figured this would be the easiest way to go. And then after sales copy, we can actually write an ebook. Now you can write an ebook yourself, or you could actually come over to a website like Fiverr and do it. Now there's a bunch of different ways to make money with ebook writing. You can either uh, sell it on your own using content and content marketing, or you can use paid ads, or you can even use Fiverr Upwork people per hour, and you can write eBooks for other people. Now, you can see here that the ghostwriting starts at $5. That's probably not very, that's, let's look at this. Um, 250 words for $5, okay, that's not bad. Um, but you wanna make sure that you are getting paid what you're worth, because sometimes Fiverr, can screw you over a little bit. But what I'd recommend that you do is I recommend that you write your own ebook and then you can put it on Kindle Direct Publishing. You can sell it on other websites like Gumroad. Lots of opportunity to make money with ghostwriting. Now, what you wanna do once again is I, if you're gonna write for yourself, identify a need in the marketplace. Identify something people wanna know. For example, people wanna know how to get more followers on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. If you understand that, if you know that, if you're willing to do the research, you can make very good money being a ebook writer, okay? And those books don't have to be terribly long. You don't have to write a, a thousand word dissertation. You can write a 200, 300 word ebook helping people solve a problem and you can make money. After being an ebook writer, you can create PLR content. Now this is one that nobody talks about, okay? And PLR stands for private label rights products. And so what you're going to do is you're going to write on a topic, you're going to put it on one of these websites, and marketers are going to buy this content again and again and again. So what happens is, for example, best PLR, PLR infographics, uh, someone has created, I know we're talking about writing, but you can, you can see here, best PLR ebooks for $9. What you can do is you can go do a little bit of research and you can write a short ebook maybe 10 pages, 15 pages on a topic. You put it on a website like this and marketers are going to buy it and they're going to use it for lead magnets. They're going to include it in bundles and things that they're selling. And the best part about this is you can sell the same PLR ebook again and again and again. You create the content once and you sell it again and again and again. But you can see here, there are tons of different niches out here. You can, let's look at PLR articles. Uh, for example, you can do ebooks, you can do articles, lots of opportunity for you to make money. And the cool thing is, is you make this product once, you could put this same PLR article on multiple PLR sites. And what you can do is you can just Google uh, PLR like this, and you're going to see that there are a bunch of different sites out there. You can put the exact same PLR content on multiple sites and you can make money. Now that you know seven beginner friendly ways to make money writing, click the first link in the description for a free training that shows you step by step how to earn a full time income without a huge following on social media, using paid ads or even having a large mailing list. Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. Watch these videos next for more tips and tricks to make money online because YouTube tells you to.